Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I thought I would do an updated flip through of my planner that I got about two or three weeks ago. I already did one video, but it was just to show you guys what the cover looked like. And shockingly, I am able to close it one, if I don't put my pen on it. So I do close it when I take it to work, but most of the other times I'm, I just leave it open. But um, I've also been treating it with lanolin and it's helping, it still has the patina that I like and I, I, I don't want that to go away, but it has given it uh, a shinier, like a harder look instead of being kind of softer and fuzzier. So I've been doing that. I don't even do it every day. I only do it maybe, I don't know, once every three or four days. And it's it looks like it's making it a little stronger. And that's nice. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do a full flip through, which I haven't done in quite a while. Thanks to my wonderful subbies who have requested it. I have the best subscribers in the whole world. You guys are just amazing. Shout out to Maritza. Thanks, Maritza. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, it. If you didn't see my previous video, this cover is from Vintage Leather Company, and they are on Etsy, and it was very affordable. Um, I, I can put a link below, um, but I would urge you to watch my previous video because the customer support is... Um, not what I would have wanted it to be, but they do a beautiful job and it was well worth the money. I thought it was very affordable. So if you're curious, watch my previous video where I go into more detail. Um, here I just have, this is a little card that um, my husband g it gave me. It was in an anniversary card and I just use it to stick some post-it flags on it. Um, and this is just a restaurant that I copied for uh, future reference. I just keep um, a little coffee sticker here. And this is a little bow clip I got from Etsy. I love this Ollie clip. It's the snow leopard one. And I, I love it. I love this. Uh, this planner has a little zipper in here. But as you can see, um, in order for me to keep it closed, I can't put much in it so um, the bulk of my planners my pages so that's going to stay empty um, this is just a little bow dashboard I got from Etsy I've had it so long I don't remember where I got it from but I mean if you searched on holographic bow dashboard it would come up here is a recent picture of me and my hubby on my birthday we went and spent the weekend in Hampton, and this is a picture of us on the boat. Um, here's some pretty craft paper I get from Hobby Lobby, and I got these really cute stickers from Amazon. I will link them below. They came in a big, fat Ziploc of a bunch of... They're all coffee-related, and I will link those below. You'll see them throughout my planner. Like I said, there was a huge Ziploc pack, and so I just put them all through... They're all through my planner. Here's another one. This is just a business card holder that came in one of my Webster's covers. Um, here is a little Ziploc. This also came in one of my Webster planners. And I just keep, I love tiny post-it notes because when I'm planning forward, this is what I use to write stuff in the future. And I, I just love these. I got these from Hobby Lobby. They came in a cute little tin. And I just am using them like crazy. This is my um, Amazon 2022 personal size insert. And I will link this below too. I just keep a clear in front of the holidays because I use it a lot. And it's a tabbed insert. It was so cheap. It was, I swear, I think it was 8 or $9.00. And it gives you a lot of writing space. Um, this is my to-do for the month coming up. And I'll just flip through what I have so far this year. 
Here is January. At the end of each month, it gives you a little recap and then it gives you a chance to write what's coming up the next month. I have 30 millimeter rings in here and you can still see in the front, it's busting. Here is February. Um, here is my recap and then what comes up in March. Everyone I love has a birthday in March. It's like madness just trying to keep up with the birthdays in March. And here is the month of March. There is my recap and my upcoming in April. There's my not so busy month of April. My recap and my moving forward. And here is May. May has been fairly busy. Everything gets busier as the summer comes. Here's my upcoming for June. And I have a few things noted for the month already. I don't have anything going forward. Thank God. A month ahead is all I can manage. <laughs> Um, here is just a dashboard I made using my laminator and some Hobby Lobby paper. Here's another one of those coffee stickers. I mean, they came in every color, every design. I'm sure you'll go on Amazon and see there. It was a good deal. This is an old recollections roller that I like. This is a um, jelly folder that I got from Salty Katie on Etsy. I don't put too much in it. I mainly just like the 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 glitter. This lighting isn't really making it, it you can't see it's prettier than it looks. The glitter is very opal and it throws a lot of greens and blues and pinks. This is my puppy Thor puppy. He's 85 pounds but I still call him a puppy. Uh, another one of those coffee stickers. Hobby Lobby paper. This is an expense tracker where I just note like frivolous spending that I try to keep an eye on. This isn't anything like monthly utilities or rent. This is just hobbies and fashion and trying to keep it down to a doable amount. Here is a habit tracker that I made, that I got. No, I got this one off of Google and I'll link it below. I just use it for like annual things that I wanna have a quick look at. Uh, for example, it has mammogram, you know, your OB, oil changes, inspection, tags and registration, personal property tax, dental cleanings, annual physical, Sometimes I log when I color my hair. And then this is the one for last year. Eventually, I'll take this one out. I just might have to refer back to it for something. Here are my YouTube videos, and I just keep track of my subscribers. Um, here's where my, a lot of my lists start. Um, here is one of my pup. We have Lucy and Thor. This is a picture of Lucy. You saw Thor in the other picture. And I just keep track of all their exams and when they're on medication. The next thing is my car and I keep track of my oil changes and any parts that I add. This is just the when I bought it, um, payment information. This is our boat policy. So I keep it so I don't have to go back through files if I wanted to look up something. And here's... Um, some specs on the boat and things that I need to keep track of. And there's a picture of it. It's called Boat Monkey. And we love spending time on it. Here is my medical history. I've had this one a long time. This one goes back about, gosh, at least five or six years. Um, a medical service that I like to keep on hand. They, they will come to your house. Um, and it's very affordable. In fact, I swear it's cheaper than if I just go to my doctor. Um, prescription allergies, dental history and cleanings. This is employment. It's kind of like a little mini resume. And then here's my salary history for the last, I don't know, five, six years. 
this is my phone policy, a laminated, so I know at any given time what I'm paying um, all my itemized costs each month in case I ever want to add something or drop something. This I made in Word myself. I used to have a fold out, but it just tore and disintegrated, so I did this in Word. Here is um, a full moon schedule. I printed off of Google because I like to keep track of full moons because I don't know about y'all, but I really um, feel a difference when the moon is full. So when I start feeling like really crazy or irritable or just over the top, usually if I look on here, it's very close to a full moon. This is my natal chart and I keep a couple um, I love tarot cards. I love crows and I love tarot. So those are two of my kind of favorite cards. Um, here's a travel log when we have like really great weekends. I'll write them down. Here's my packing suitcase. I've had this forever. I use it all summer long. Um... I won't even go into what that is. That's kind of like a personal event. I love this paper I got from Hobby Lobby. It's sunflowers, but it's done in pink and burgundy instead of the traditional golden brown. And I just love it. More of the coffee stickers. A picture of the family. Unicorns. This is the month of February. Um, me and hubby had a great month and I just did a little collage using my Walgreens photo app. And I just put that there. Here's some Betty Boot money I got on Amazon and I laminated it. Um, this is my military ID and I'm just covering up my social and all that information. More of that pretty sunflower paper. Um, sometimes I go through Amazon and I just make a watch list of things I want to watch and then I check them off as I see them. Then if there's something really good, if somebody asks me for any good advice, I can look on this and tell people of any good movies I've really liked. These are some upcoming projects I want to work on. I did have a previous list that I got done, so I don't want to make it look like I don't do anything. <laughs> the ones I did, I threw away, and these are the ones I still want to do. And then I just have, um, so this is personal medical. Um, I have a couple, well, I had a couple blank sheets. I need to put some more in for other lists. Another picture of me and hubby from last winter. Picture of family. Here is a hologram bow bookmark, and I just punched it and put it in here. Here's more of those coffee stickers on some Hobby Lobby paper. More stickers. I'm telling you, the pack is huge. I put so many in here, and I still have a stack of that many left. Um, last winter, Hubby and I. Some pretty gold paper from Hobby Lobby. This was my birthday from a couple weeks ago. We went to a nice restaurant. They took a picture of us. More coffee stickers. Then here is my daily Filofax insert. And I actually got this from Amazon. Very affordable, I'll link it below. And I'll just flip through a few of my dailies. I just, um, I use a few stickers. A lot of post-it notes. A little bit of washi. I love having one page per day. I can't do two pages per day because I don't have enough. I'm not busy enough to require two, but the one page is perfect. Here's today and tomorrow. And then I don't, like I said, I just use post-it notes for things going forward and just some blank sheets. I only keep maybe three months at a time in here because uh, it just can't hold anymore and snap it. Here's more of the pretty paper and stickers. I got this off of Google and I just printed it using my Walgreens photo app. Um, just more stickers. And this is my habit tracking section. I guess I didn't say that. 
I made this myself using my laminate. And here is, I made this in X, no, Word. This is using, I made this in Word. And it just goes, and I put a square for days when I am really bad. And then I use dots when I'm eating really good and clean. And I haven't been doing very good. You, I really should only have like four squares a month, but I, I'm, I need to rein it in a little bit better. That's my husband sneezing. And here is my mood tracker. I do these in Word. I make them myself also. And I just track my moods. And I know uh, I started making little notes on places where it looks like I'm having a really bad day. So I can see what's triggering me for bad days. Not that it really matters that much because they're inevitable. <laughs> and I made this step tracker in Word. Um, I don't use it as much as I should because I don't walk as much as I should. But with weather getting nicer, I'm trying so hard to start doing it again. I have to get up like at 5.30 and I got to hit the street by 6.30 so I can be home by 7. Well, I mean, I can be logged in by 7.30. Days when I work in the office, it's really hard. Then here is my meal planning grocery list. This helps keep me on track. Lunch ideas, it's a family photo. Here are my dinner ideas. Here's an old walking diary. My steps counter has replaced this. I just kept it for nostalgia. Whoops, my weight log. Let's not go into my weight log. And behind it's my measurements. We don't need to go through that either. Um, this is when I hit my goal weight. I took a picture of the scales. Actually, I was happy. It says 146, but I don't need y'all seeing my feet. <laughs> Here's a goal pit. Some of these are just goal pictures. When I hit my goal, I was just really happy. And I've maintained it, but I, I've definitely got to keep a watch, which is why I keep that graph showing me how bad, how many times I've cheated. This is last year's birthday. Me and my puppy last summer. This is my gratitude section, and I just used some Hobby Lobby um, glitter poster. It's thick. It's real thick paper. And I printed this on Google using my Walgreens app. And I'm not going to flip through all my gratitude stuff. I have a fair amount of sheets in here, and I write every day. This is more stickers from that pack. Um, a picture from last summer. And some Hobby Lobby paper. I printed this off of Google using my Walgreens app. I just thought that was beautiful. I should put that in the front of my... I slid all my pages so I can do this because I'm constantly changing my mind. I constantly move stuff around because I get bored easy, like now. So I like that. Let's put that there. Um, this section is my work section, and I can't go through this at all because it's all um, a lot of information on, we have 50 employees in the department, so I have all of their contact information and cell phones. I also have laminated all my passwords, um, all of the directories, which have all the employees' names. So I'm not going to go through any of that. Uh, this is actually a picture my boss gave me because he said it looked like me. I thought that was funny. Um, and then at the very back, I just have a Ziploc pack of all these Post-its. I just, I love this size. And then I also love the square ones. I got these in a little tin at Hobby Lobby. And the tin had a lot in it. And it was only $2.99. I couldn't believe it. There was only two left and I got both of them. And they will not last long because I'm going through them like crazy. Um, in the very back, I just have a self-care sheet that I got off of Google. I just have this planner girl picture that I like. And I just keep those there. And I have some movie stickers for when we watch movies on movie night. I put a little sticker for that. These are just Hobby Lobby gift cards that I like. 
Sometimes I use them as a template if I want to draw a small square on something. But they're just cute. I love the daisies, so it's cute. And just a little mini Ollie clip. I don't have a lot of stuff back here because, like I said, my planner is so fat. If I want to be able to snap it, I can't have a lot of junk in the covers. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and please comment if you have any questions. I love to answer and talk to you guys and I hope you have a great day. Bye.